my name is Christy and my personal pronouns are she and her. I was born, raised, and currently live in Southern California in the Los Angeles area. And I chose uh, to apply to ICSW because they have a clinical social work degree. And I was admitted into the long distance PhD program. And I'm most excited about just being in school after many years. And I also excited about just learning and being able to implement what I learn into my clinical work. And I first heard about ICSW through, <laughs> this is NASW when they still had a paper copy and it was May, June of 2018. And so I cut out my little advertisement and have kept it all these years and it worked out to be able to apply for 2023 at fall. Hey everyone, my name is Nick Wilson and my preferred pronouns are he, him. I am originally from Chelsea, Michigan, but moved here to Chicago about five years ago and I've been here ever since. Um, I will be enrolled in the part-time master's program starting in the fall. And I learned about ICSW from my former therapist uh, who was an analyst and before he retired a few years ago, uh, was on faculty at ICSW. Uh, through my own therapeutic process and, and psychoanalytic therapy, uh, I learned, shortly learned of the, of the amazing power that it has to change and, and shape lives for the better and became fascinated with uh, the psyche of human beings and how we all operate. And so that's what really drove me uh, to apply to the master's program and, and hopefully devote myself to the career and become an analyst one day. Um, I am very much looking forward to meeting uh, all the other students who are like-minded and are uh, intensely passionate about psychoanalytic therapy and of course learning from all the amazing faculty and staff at ICSW as well. I, I can't wait for the fall. Hi everybody, my name is Patricia Alba and I am a first year PhD distance student and I'm also part of the DEI committee at ICSW. So I'm here to talk a little bit about what our purpose is, which is really to just bring the community together um, to learn about our similarities and differences um, by celebrating the um, amazing diversity that we have in our school. So this last year, what we have done is we read um, How to Be an Anti-Racist by Ibram X. Kendi. We also held a Hispanic Heritage Month with a discussion around Gloria Musino's What Kind of Name is Musino? Uh, for Transgender Awareness Week, um, we had a great discussion around a short say, Mama Has a Mustache. And then we also held a Women's History Month activity during one of our on-site weekends um, where we sent out flip cards on women's in social work and psychotherapy. Um, I hope that um, some of you would join us and I am very proud to be part of a community that really embraces diversity and difference. My name is Amy Shane. I'm a third year student in the distance cohort. I am a member of the DEI student subcommittee. The very nature of our psychodynamic studies require us as students and social workers to actively challenge matters of social justice in our communities and in our classrooms. Recently, the DEI Student Committee has been dedicated to reviewing policies surrounding inclusivity in the ICSW community. We have collaborated with faculty and administration on updating DEI policies to be included in our student handbook as well as in our course syllabi. The Student Committee is actively working on distributing uh, information via pamphlet both to faculty and students regarding the importance of creating a secure classroom and community environment at ICSW. And on a more personal note, in addition to the important topics we discuss as a committee, I have found that being involved with DEI has enriched my student experience at ICSW. Forming relationships with the faculty and the students has led to a deeper connection within the larger ICSW community. Hi, my name is Nancy Chakchwag Dowdy, and my pronouns are she, her. I live in Chicago, Illinois, Rogers Park area. And I learned about ICSW from my husband, who is an alum of the MA program and a candidate of the Chicago Psychoanalytic Institute. I applied to the program because my previous employment had me conducting a behavioral health assessment for Asian immigrants and refugees. And I discovered that the clinical and talk therapy aspect of the work very rewarding. And I'm 
looking forward to the start of the classes to deepen and enrich my understanding of clinical counseling and I look forward to meeting the faculty and fellow students. Thank you. Thank you.